Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Garage. So today we're looking at a turbocharger and some weird looking thing with a carburetor uh, bolt pattern on this. So what we got here is an old draw through turbocharger kit. So this is pretty cool. So how it works is let's say your turbo's mounted over here, your exhaust, blah blah blah, you know, your dump pipe right there. And over here we got your carburetor. So if you look down in there, it looks weird, but it's got a bottom and then some weird valve thingies and then this little flap thing, right? And then this weird clown looking knob on the back. So this does the same thing that a blow off would, or at least a similar thing that a blow off would. This is a relief valve, but it does not function exactly the same way. Um, it doesn't open up every time you let off the gas or something like that. It's strictly opened by pressure. Um, this um, this is for throttle control. Normally you got a hose going here and then you got another hose coming off to here and you got another separator here. But basically your carburetor goes here, your fuel and air mixture gets sucked through the carburetor, goes through here and into your turbocharger. Now this is an old Air Research Garrett with a carbon seal in it. You need a carbon seal for a draw through, otherwise you'll get some uh, oil pulled out of there because a big vacuum happens when you close the throttle plates right here and it pulls oil out of there. And anyway, so your air and fuel go in here and then okay, you get your atomization and your boost coming out of here and then it's forced back through a pipe that would go here and into here. So now I'm going to flip this over. Boom. See, so this doesn't open up through there. This is separate. This goes down into your engine. So your intake manifold's down here, right? These are those valves we seen earlier. So they're kind of just floating freely there. They open and close. And how that works is when you are not under boost, it's going to have those and your air fill mixture is just going to be sucking down through those valves because there's vacuum and not boost. But then when you slam on the gas and you start getting boost going through here and coming in, it's going to pressurize your intake manifold through the boost coming in here and these valves are going to slam shut because of the boost pressure. So there's no springs, nothing in there. They just float freely. So they operate off of vacuum and boost pressure only. And so that's a draw through turbo system. There's a, quite a bit more to it than that, but that's how it works. So you got your old carbureted V8 and you want to make some serious power without a uh, supercharger or an all motor build, you got another uh, power booster option here. And that's a uh, draw through turbo. So again, fuel goes in, air mixture, it gets sucked in, goes through the turbocharger, spools, goes through. Boom, and then it's compressed into this hole, which goes into the intake manifold, slamming those valves shut and starting your boost, giving you some good power. And then the relief valve, um, how these function differently is because pressure has to be relieved from here. Otherwise, of course, there would be compressor surge and all that. Pressure doesn't typically happen in here. So something has to occur for an excess of pressure to blow this valve open or after you let off and then these start to open if there's uh, just enough excess pressure usually there should be a vacuum though and a draw through if there is excess pressure it's just gonna psh and blow off you won't hear it like a blow off valve though it, it's not like that um, it's not like a, a blow off valve at all but it, it has a similar function anyways so yeah it's a, a draw through turbo system this is a really cool old turbo. It's a Garrett Air Research. It's a TL4B35 and it's a uh, 6081. So it's not a huge turbo, but it's also not that small. It has some turbine damage because it's so old and so we need to uh, get it rebuilt. Um, but anyway, this bad boy is going on the Mustang. So it's going to have a Predator carburetor sucking into there and then some more Busto going into my engine. I might get the inlet a bit bigger. This is kind of small. Um, I, I think this can probably only support probably uh, 425 to 450 horsepower. Maybe a little more. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching Mike's Garage. I hope this explains a draw-through turbo system a little bit better for you. And just so you guys know, this is called an Excel Turbo Sonic Draw-Through um, System. And that's what it is. So... It's sonic draw through. Basically, you know, it's going at sonic speeds, blah, blah, blah. 
Anyway, it's the same as a draw through system. It just has a bit different functions. Like those flaps on the bottom, you don't really see those a lot. And a few other things are different about it. These are mostly idle control stuff. But I won't go over all that. If you guys are really interested, let me know. Hit up in the comments and I'll make another video on detailed idle control and how this throttle blade here functions um, as boost pressure builds and it closes. Um, anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe, that like button, and uh, you have a wonderful day.